So we have two um, letters of recommendation for the commission's approval tonight, a correspondence item and a couple of site plans. Um, so we'll start with the letters of rec. Uh, the first being PC 22-20 STL Quillub 1 LLC, which was a request for a conditional use permit in the C3 for a vehicle service facility um, at, at Lindbergh and Tesson Ferry. You can see here outlined in red. Um, I believe it was the January 11th meeting the commission gave uh, approval of the staff recommendation. Could I do both? Yeah, go ahead and do both. The other is PC 2320 Club Car Wash Operating LLC, which is a CUP in the C2 for a proposed automated tunnel car wash and vacuum bays located south of Gravelway Road, west of Tesson Ferry, outlined here in red. Um, similarly, the commission uh, voted to uh, accept the staff recommendation on January 11th. Okay, we need a motion for approval of the two letters. So moved. Second. Discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. Opposed? Ayes have it 6-0. And we'll go to the uh, correspondence item. So this is regarding the C8 authorizing the Sun Truck um, on Lime Ferry Road, uh, Southwest Quadrant of Lime Ferry Road and Lime Village Lane. Um, this aerial shows the site. So we're a little bit uh, northeast of Lindbergh Boulevard here. Um, the portion of the site we're talking about is the northeastern portion where the existing building um, is shown here in red. The uh, petitioner would like to request an amendment to the C8 in order to permit um, a two-story facility, as well as increase the permissible uh, square footage of the building. Um, the way the building is constructed now and the proposed addition would change um, sort of the classification of the building. It used to have a walkout basement, but the way it would be changed, it would be, uh, it would be considered a two-story building, which would be contrary to the way the ordinance is written now. Um, they also need, I think, about 3,000 square feet added on to the permittable square footage. Um, so there is also some proposed asphalt shown and some new accessible parking. They are showing um, uh, increased landscaping abutting the uh, R7 residence district to the northwest of the site here. Um, staff feels that this is reasonable. We're recommending approval of this request. Okay, do we have a motion? I'll make a motion for approval. Do we have a second? Second motion, but I have a question. Right. I do. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, go, a question, go ahead. Question being is the proposed asphalt over on that the left hand side of the building, that portion that goes back where uh, I don't know how many years ago there was issues with flooding back there. And I thought they were going to keep that as gravel when when they came in and presented to the planning commission back in 2016 to expand mm -hmm. that area what they were adding was not gravel because we don't allow gravel but it, more of a, an uh a pervious type of surface so they have put this parking in as a pervious surface a, a an alternative dust proofing method not gravel and uh as far for what is required for this building addition, they would have to pay. We do require paved parking for that. The rest of it was for storing vehicles. Storing vehicles can be on that non-paved surface, but this is for parking a vehicle, parking associated with this use. So this area will have to be asphalted. Okay. And then the other question is, since they want to add on to the building, this portion on the back is an addition. Yes. So are they going to be required to have any more? water runoff because of that? that uh, I'm not sure. The plan will have to be reviewed by all the necessary parties, possibly. Uh -huh. you know, it's, all, it's all paved now, so probably not, but um, go ahead, Mel. We, we did, um, this has gone through, uh, uh, I think, one or two reviews, and MSD didn't have any additional comments for, for this proposal. Okay. Uh, I, and I have a question about the existing building. They're they're going to maintain that building. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. 
So from the front, it's going to look like a one-story building, but because it goes all the way down, and <clears throat> they would That's consider correct. that. Okay. Right. So the uh, way it steps down, and you can kind of sure. see um, at the short end of the addition, the contour lines get kind of tight there. So oh, from yeah. May Ferry, it will it'll look the same. You probably wouldn't be able to even tell there was an addition. Okay. Thank you. Okay, anyone else? Okay, seeing none, we have a motion for approval. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Anyone opposed? Seeing none, all those ayes have it 6 0. Do we have anything else? We have two site plans. The first is the Arbors at Bridal Path, which was one of our um, zoning petitions from uh, late last year. You can see the site here outlined in red, um, south of Big Bend Road on the north side of Castlewood State Park. Um, they are proposing 41 single family homes. Um, actually, let me leave it on this page. Uh, the last commission action here, uh, you rec this commission recommended that this largest lot where my cursor is be maintained at three acres minimum, which is what's shown here. Um, on this site plan, they're not showing a home on that site, um, but they have added, you know, the landscaping we've requested, the cul-de-sacs, um, all of the requirements of the county. So we are recommending approval of this um, site plan. And then the second okay. would be contingent, of course, on the ordinance amendment going through, but would be for the Suntrup Lee May Ferry we were just talking about. Okay. Uh, do we have a motion for the I'll site plans? A, yeah, I'll make a motion to approve PC 17 20 and PC 04 16. Do we have a second? I'll uh, second. Discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Ayes have it 6 0. And that's, we have nothing else? That's all. All right. We have a motion to adjourn. I so move. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Ayes have a 6 0, and uh, we have nothing scheduled at this time. No, I think we're going to have the, uh, the zoo project.